Got one of these in your model collection? How about this one? These are Dilophosaurus dinosaur models, and it's a very famous dinosaur, a staple in a lot of dinosaur model ranges. In fact, it's even been in a movie. But Jurassic Park movie makers and paleontologists may have got this dinosaur all wrong, as new evidence suggests that Dilophosaurus looked very different. Stick around, and we'll explain what's going on. Everything Dinosaur here, and today we're going to look at a scientific paper that provides a comprehensive review of the dinosaur called Dilophosaurus. We'll look at the paper and we'll look at the implications for your dinosaur model collection. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight in. This is the recently introduced Wild Safari Prehistoric World Dilophosaurus Dinosaur Model. It is a beautiful replica, one of nine new prehistoric animal figures introduced by Safari Limited in 2020. It depicts a grey sow, lightweight, lean theropod, with a long thin tail, and we love the coloration, especially those stripes. The model is a dusky brown colour, with some evidence of lighter counter shading on the underside of the figure. This contrasts with the eyes, with their bright yellow sclera, and of course those crests that give this dinosaur its name, double crested lizard. The crests themselves reflect the consensus that existed amongst the scientific community, that they were half moon shaped, thin and bony. These crests were paired, symmetrical but not joined. The design team at Safari Limited chose to give their 2020 Dilophosaurus a pair of striking orange coloured head crests, which certainly stand out against the general colour scheme of this model. As dinosaur model collectors can testify, most other models of Dilophosaurus depict this animal with a pair of thin but very colourful head crests, as it has been suggested that these crests probably played a role in visual communication. But things may be about to change. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification button to be part of the conversation. Like many other manufacturers, Safari Limited takes great care in attempting to reflect current scientific thinking when it comes to producing dinosaur models. But vertebrate paleontology, like all science, moves on, and this month has seen the publication of a new scientific paper on Dilophosaurus weather alive. In future, replicas of Dilophosaurus might look very different. It's time to beef up this dinosaur. This month has seen the publication of a comprehensive review of Dilophosaurus weatherelli fossil material. Writing in the Journal of Paleontology, published by Cambridge University Press, two scientists, Adam Marsh and Timothy Rowe, have conducted a comprehensive review of all the known Dilophosaurus fossil material. Dilophosaurus has been one of the most extensively studied of all the Jurassic theropods known from North America, not because it has the most complete fossil record, but because of its importance. Dilophosaurus represents a large-bodied carnivorous dinosaur from the early Jurassic, a time when the dinosauria were evolving very rapidly. One of the scientists, Adam Marsh, was earning his PhD from the University of Texas at Austin, whilst conducting the analysis of the five most complete Dilophosaurus specimens known to science. Everything Dinosaur would like to thank the media team at the university for giving us permission to use their images in the production of this video. The analysis covered the fossil material described by the University of California team following fieldwork from back in 1942, and indeed the 1964 specimen that led to the erection of the Dilophosaurus genus in 1970. Interpreting these early fossils has been hampered by the fragmentary nature and their delicate state of preservation. For example, plaster has been used to strengthen the fossils, and this has made studies somewhat complicated. Indeed, the delicate cranial material of the 97 specimen, UCMP 77270, was dipped in epoxy resin, presumably to help strengthen the crests. However, this treatment obscured important anatomical details. So, until this newly published research, 
which reviewed these earlier finds and compared them to fossils collected between 1997 and 2000 from the Cayenta Formation of Arizona, this is what the skull of Dilophosaurus was presumed to be like. The skull was believed to be relatively long and narrow. Note the thin lower jaw, the dentary, and the distinctive kink in the upper jaw between the premaxilla and the maxilla bones. The crests themselves are convex shaped and extend from the narrowest bone above the nostrils to beyond the eye socket. They are distinct, spaced apart and also angled slightly outwards. Let's see how that skull shape gets translated into a dinosaur model and we're going to use the Wild Safari Prehistoric World Dilophosaurus replica, one that came out around 2009. The model depicts an agile, lightweight, gracile dinosaur, and if you look at the skull, the lower jaw is narrow. There is a distinctive notch in the upper jaw, and the model has crescent-shaped, bony and thin crests. Both the skull and the model reflect the science at the time. They are fine replicas and highly collectible, but the 2020 paper might change the way in which Dilophosaurus is depicted. This is a reconstruction of the skull of Dilophosaurus, based on the recent research. The skull is more compact, the dentary thicker and stronger. The lower jaw is supported by the robust angular and surangular bones. The notch in the upper jaw is more subtle, a result of the realisation that the distinctive kink previously described was exaggerated due to the taphonomic preservation of the fossil material. That is, the shape of these bones was significantly altered during the fossilisation process. The jaw was more robust, the teeth slightly shorter, and these features coupled with the strong arms and powerful hands, suggests that this six metre long monster was an apex predator. It's time to beef it up. Dilophosaurus was no lightweight scavenger. It was top of the food chain in North America during the early Jurassic. And now to the headgear. It is the nasal and lacrimal bones that form the characteristic pair of crests that grew up into two hollow air-filled bony crests at the top of its skull. The researchers proposed the crests of Dilophosaurus were almost certainly covered with keratin or keratinized skin, making them much more pronounced, although their overall shape remains unknown. That's indicated by the shaded region in this beautifully illustrated drawing of the skull provided by Brian Eng. The crests were probably much closer together, possibly joined, and their internal structure may have been similar to the casks found in large ground-dwelling birds, such as cassaries. This suggests that as well as playing a role in visual communication, these crests may have helped the dinosaur to regulate its body temperature, as there has been some research undertaken recently that suggests the casks of cassowaries may help these large birds to dissipate heat. Brian N. has also created a fabulous Dilophosaurus puppet, which depicts this iconic dinosaur as an even more bizarre and bird-like creature than previously thought. It's certainly one beefed-up dinosaur. Wouldn't it be great if you could access lots of information about dinosaur research? Articles, facts and data about prehistoric animals? Well, yes you can. Everything Dinosaur publishes a huge blog. It contains thousands of posts looking at fossil discoveries, new research and condenses scientific papers making them easy to read and to understand. We even provide information on where you can find the published paleontology papers for yourself. Our blog is packed full of helpful information and provides updates on prehistoric animal model ranges, what's being retired and what's coming out and when read by scientists, academics, students and paleontologists. Updated most days, it is a fabulous resource for dinosaur model collectors and fans of the Dinosauria. And best of all, it is absolutely free. Dilophosaurus weatherly is the latest member of the Dinosauria to receive a makeover. It's a dinosaur that has been featured in a number of model ranges 
And this brings us to this, our question of the day. What's your favourite Dilophosaurus dinosaur model? Are you buoyed by the Buddhaland model? Or perhaps it's the Papo Dilophosaurus that floats your boat? What about Rebors, Green Day and Oasis? Let us know your comments. We'd love to hear from you. Which one is your favourite Dilophosaurus model? So there you have it. A comprehensive review of the early Jurassic Dilophosaurus weather ally has been published. Model manufacturers may have to revise the way they make their Dilophosaurus models in the future. We will put a link to our blog post about the scientific paper in the video description below. We'll also put a link to our blog's homepage. And of course, we'll include a link to Everything Dinosaurs website where you can, if you want to, pick up a Dilophosaurus model or two. Well, we hope you've enjoyed watching this short video and we wish you every success with your dinosaur model collecting. Oh, and one more thing. Thank you.